We're going to be doing a deep dive into the numbers of three properties in the Cleveland market. TJ from New Mexico, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV, coming to you from my house because of all of the, uh, you know, the stuff going on in the world today. Uh, I am in Ohio, obviously. Um, many of you out there, you know, you're in the same situation. We've got shelter in place mandates uh, happening all around the company, uh, the country rather. Ohio is one of the states uh, that are doing that. Now, just so you're aware, the real estate construction title companies those businesses are allowed to operate um, these are considered exempt businesses these are essential services uh, so that said you know field staff that has to actually be on location at these properties at Holton Wise we are doing everything we possibly can to help out and do our part to limit everyone's uh, exposure so non-essential employees that do not have to be actually in office locations or in the field are working from their homes like I am and the rest of the members of my media team however know that we still have the resources available to handle all your property management just like before. If a repair is needed at a property, we are out there taking care of that. We are still able to open and close escrow. Title companies are ready to rock. Our insurance company that we have with farmers, which by the way, if you didn't know we had an insurance company and you're a real estate investor, I want you to click in the show notes below, I've got a link. Let us quote out the policy on any of your rental properties throughout the United States, not just the ones here in Cleveland, because now more than ever is the time you need to try to figure out how to save as much income as possible. And all we do is work to get the lowest possible premiums for real estate investors. So check us out. But the moral of the story, y'all, is we are here. We are still doing business. Uh, the coronavirus, it's definitely making some folks scared. Um, but, you know, I believe the investors that act aggressively now are going to be able to pull off some even better deals, which leads me to you, TJ. Here's where we are at, my man. Uh, just recently, you and I, we did one video together. We got two deals uh, out of that out of that video. The first deal we put under contract for a little bit less than our target price, right? I was trying to to get that property for a certain price. And I was actually able to secure that property several thousand dollars uh, lower than that for you. And we still haven't even performed the inspection. So if some things pop up on that inspection, I might be able to beat that price even lower for you. So that is turning out to be an amazing deal. And then the second property, the Kenneth property, okay, we are at an impasse with the seller right now. They have countered us at 42000 I have given them our highest and best, which is 35000 That was the price we wanted to target that, that property for. I don't know if the seller is going to accept that. So what I wanted to do, the reason for this video, TJ, I wanted to hit you with three more properties, my man, um, because I, I, I want to just kind of you know, go off course a little bit, right? I, look, I understand it, man. TJ, you are my dentist from New Mexico, and you're very interested in the Burr strategy. However, what your ultimate goal is, you want to have 10 units by the end of 2020. You want to have 50 units by the end of 2023. And you got $100,000 in cash to work with right now. So of course, you're targeting the Burr strategy so you can stretch those funds as far as humanly possible. And what I wanted to do though, I had, because of the coronavirus, right? You know, some deals are falling apart. There's two types of investors out there that we're dealing with. We're dealing with investors who are getting into the game now because uh, things are crazy and they feel like if they act aggressive, they could probably score some better deals, which I happen to agree with. And we also have the other folks that are like, whoa, I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to pull back. I'm going to keep all my money liquid and I'm going to wait to see what's happening. So because of that, you know, deals here and there, you know, some deals are falling apart. So some other opportunities are coming back on the table here. 
And there is one particular property that I want to start things off with for you. It's a duplex, 12624 Emory. I analyzed this for another investor. We attempted to buy that property, multiple offers on that property, ended up going under contract with somebody that I was not working with. It just fell out of contract. A lot of the hysteria out there causing investors, some investors to drop out. So that property is now available again. My previous client has chosen to put a halt on investing, so he is not interested. So I wanted to bring this to your attention, TJ. I don't think we need to do a burr on this one because what I wanted to do is, with your strategy, you have an $100,000. If we can't get your second property locked up for you, uh, and we go forward just doing the burrs using all your cash at once. You could do those two deals and then you're, you're paused for you know several months till we can do your renovations, get all your money back. With this particular property, the price is so low, you could just buy it right off the bat with a mortgage and you don't need to put more than $10,000 into this deal. You're going to be under 10K into this deal just right off the rip. So this might be something that allows you to do maybe three deals right off the rip here. So I wanted to, to give you this property, give you an opportunity to take a look at this thing. So let's take a look at the footage from the last time I analyzed it. And what have I found for you? The first property. One, two, six, two, four, Emory Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, four, four, one, three, five. This has been on the market 42 days, listed at $39,900. And I am incredibly familiar with this particular property. As a matter of fact, I sold this property to the guy who currently owns it right now. I sold it to him for $25,000 back when the market was much softer in 2015. We managed it for uh, a few years with this dude. Um, as a matter of fact, we've, I've done several deals with this particular investor. We've bought and sold apartment buildings together, things of that nature. Uh, he's a guy with a pretty large portfolio, and what he demands is, is um, you know, folks willing to work for, for discounted rates and things of that nature. So uh, as the Holton Wise companies continued to grow and uh, we became as established as we were, you know, the pricing structure that he was trying to get us to meet, uh, it just didn't work for everybody. So eventually we separated, uh, we parted ways, and he's currently – Managing his portfolio through, you know, various folks. I don't know what he's doing exactly, but I know he's listing this particular property with an agent out of Aspire Community Realty. I've never heard of that particular company before, and I, and I see the realtor he's got um, as his listing agent, his brand new agent, just became licensed in 2019, um, which would fall in line with, you know, what I'm used to. The guy, you know, he, he's got a big portfolio, so he's, he's looking for folks to do, uh, to do work on the cheap for him. So what what does that mean? What do we got? What what's going on? Well, right now currently the property he's got one tenant downstairs. They're paying five fifty, and I believe that's the same tenant from way back when we managed it, way back when I sold it to him. Because when we sold it to him back in twenty fifteen, this was a section eight tenant, and I believe they had lived there for like ten years. Pretty nice lady, man. She was pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure that's the same person. The upstairs is vacant. Okay. I'm going to go through the photos of the upstairs unit. Last tenant uh, they had in there, per the listing notes, was paying four and a quarter. This is like a, a small unit, right? It's it's not a high-end unit. It's not the greatest unit. Truth be told, it's it, 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 it's this is the downstairs unit right here. What you just saw was the upstairs. The downstairs, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same lady because I, I uh, recall a lot of what her unit looked like. She was, uh, she was a good tenant, man. She was good. She never gave us any problems. Section 8, and she just likes living at this house. So based on my math, I think she's been there at least 15 years. But that upstairs unit, right? Let me go back to those photos. It, as you can see, it's, it's not like your traditional full-size unit, right? Like, look at this kitchenette. It's incredibly small, okay? It's, it's never going to be a true traditional unit. Like the roof line, right? The roof line is a little bit slanted, so it's never going to be as large as uh, those normal units. So, like in C-class neighborhoods, we typically we get 750 um, for nicely renovated duplex units if they're full-size nice units. Uh, we're not going to hit that here. The max for this unit is going to be 500. But the reason why I wanted to show you this property is your budget, right? You're looking for a duplex or more in a C-class or higher area, and you've only got $70,000 to work with. If you're looking to get a, a duplex, 
uh, that's already ready to go renting for that 750 range, you're going to need at least 85000 if not $100,000. So with $70,000 in the C-class neighborhood, which this is a C-class neighborhood, you're going to have to get yourself something that uh, you know is a little bit less than ideal. It's going to have a little bit lower rent roll. But even with that, it's still going to make you know, a decent chunk of coin for you, right? You look at the numbers here, 550 and 500, so that's 1,050 a month, 12,600 a year. As far as pricing goes, like I said, I know the guy picked it up for cheap, 25,000. Now the market in 2020 is much different than the market was in 2015. So just because he paid 25, don't mean you're going to get to pay 25 in uh, 2020. The market's not in the same position. But I don't think you got to pay 39.9. Uh, I think you're going to be going into this negotiation uh, with a foot, with a step up, right? You got me, okay? You got me. I'm the number one seller of rental property in the entire market, okay? And then we're going to be going up against an agent who uh, is a brand new agent. So I, I guarantee you this particular agent doesn't have the same negotiating skill set that I do. So because of that, I think we can get you a nice discount off this property. I would be aiming to get it for you for at most $34,000. I think we might even be able to get it a little bit lower, maybe like thirty-one, thirty-two. But at most, I want you to pay $34,000. What's that going to look like? Well, we're going to... Budget 52 bucks for repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, uh, $81 for taxes, $60 for insurance. Mike, as you already know, I also own a farmer's insurance business. So if anybody else out there and Mike yourself, we can quote you an insurance quote for this property and anybody else out there who's got rentals anywhere in the USA, let us know in the show notes below. I got a link. We will save you money on your premiums. Outside of the farmer's business, we are also appointed with several other random insurance providers that you guys would never have heard of. They're not like Geico or Progressive. They're not out there publicly advertising. These are like business-to-business -business companies, and they're very small, unique companies. So we could shop it around and get you guys super low landlord pricing because that's all we do, right? We only do rental properties. So for this property, it's so cheap. It should only be like 60 bucks a month, nothing. Water sewer, 150. Lawn care, 44. PM is going to be 105. So your total expenses on this should average approximately 596 a month, bringing you an average NOI of 454. Some months are going to be better. Some are going to be weaker. Some, some years are going to be nice. Some years are going to be lean. That's the nature of the beast. With that upstairs unit, I don't ever anticipate you getting like a super long-term tenant up there. It's always going to be one, two-year stays, I would imagine, because it is like such a small unit. Uh, but the price, man, that more than makes up for it. There's like no other scenario where you can pick up a C-class neighborhood duplex for 34 k which I think is what we can get this for you, if not a little bit lower. Now... That would be a 16 cap, and I know you're paying cash, but if you were to finance this, note you'd only need 8500 down. You'd get a teeny tiny $121 a month mortgage payment. After you paid off your mortgage, you'd still be bringing in 333 a month on average, which would be a 47% cash on cash return because the amount of money you need to put into this is just so teeny tiny because that price point is so so very low. So for that reason, Mike, I thought this would be a very solid deal for you. And if you do want to go cash, you don't want to use financing, that will make it even easier for us to go in and, and get this at the lowest possible price. If you're paying cash, we're making it quick. We're making it simple. The owner knows who I am. He knows our business. He's familiar with what we do. He knows we're big time around here. So he knows if an offer comes from me, it's serious. It's probably going to close. He knows that guys are doing analysis. So he knows you've already paid for the opportunity to work with me and my team and get this analysis so he knows a serious offer so we we bring him something like 30k cash he'll probably jump on that if i had to guess uh we go financing we might be closer up to the thirty-four thousand dollar mark welcome back tj now um that's my thoughts on that property so let me know if you're interested in that another thing too uh with what you were trying to do right your big thing was being in the path of progress, being near hospitals. And, you know, from our previous video, the two properties, they were in the neighborhood that's very, very close to Metro. Now, that duplex on Emory, that is a little bit west, as is this next property, 2028 West 89th. Uh, it's not very far, right? If you're going to have to go to a hospital, if you're sick, you're going to go to a hospital and you live in either of these properties, that's probably the hospital you're going to go to. But it's not like in the immediate, immediate, like you go walk your dog there type neighborhood. 
but these are very, very close. And this other one, just going at this, you know, you could do a burr on this one, you know, and it would be just like the two that I, I presented to you in my previous video, but you could also just go in and just pick this up with a mortgage right off the bat and keep your cash outlay low so you can have multiple deals done like all at the same time, right? You don't have to just like pound all of your cash. I don't know if you were anticipating uh, getting into these properties with, with such little amount of money. For instance, this particular one on West 89th, under 20K. So the one on Emory, under 10K. This one under 20K. So you could do these two deals right here and still have $70,000 left over to do whatever you need to do. So let's take a look at the footage where I already analyzed this one for another client because same situation. Uh, investor did the analysis for him, put in our offer, good property. So multiple offers were on the table. Our offer got declined. Um, things have fallen apart with the, the listing agent and their other client who put in the offer. Again, you, you got a lot of, there are a lot of people out there that are panicking. Um, so deals are falling back out of place. So they're, they're, you know, these opportunities are coming to us again. So that's what we have here. So let's take a look at the footage. I've got the second property pulled up on the screen. I got the photos up nice and big for you. 2028 West 89th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This is what I like to call a little old lady house. And the cool thing is what you don't usually see with little old lady houses either. You don't see like a pretty updated kitchen with a nice backsplash. Like we would definitely keep this, right? We would keep these cabinets. We'd keep the countertop. We'd keep the backsplash. All of that is good. This is not a tenant. This is an owner-occupied property. So you get like a nice little old lady who's lived in the house for many, many years. And uh, we're going to get some value out of that. Now, Everything looks pretty darn nice, right? It would look like it's a pretty solid rental just as it is. But I, I want to let you know, like, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's stuff on the walls, just, like, a lot of stuff. So when we do actually get this property totally vacant, I would anticipate we're going to need to put a little bit of money into it. It's currently listed at 49900 and it's been on the market a decent chunk of time as well, 81 days. So for this one, I think we can work out a nice little discount. I think we could probably pick this up for approximately 44000 And even though it looks nice in the photos, all that stuff's going to go out of there and i would imagine we're going to still have to repaint spackle fix this fix that i you know this this person's been living there a very long time so we're going to need to do some updating you know make it look a little more modern and just once all that stuff's out of there you're going to start to notice like nicks and dings on the walls or the floor so you know we'll clean all that up at most i think we'll spend eight grand and that's probably to be honest with you, that's probably a high estimate it might come in a little lower but I, you know worst case scenario i think we'll spend eight grand so you'd be all into this investment for 52,000. What that's going to get us, since it's three bed, one bath, and we're going to make this thing look spiffy, man, and we're going to make it look good. We're going to easily rent this thing for 975, possibly even above, but we'll go 975, which is 11,700 a year. What would that look like? Well, at 975 a month, we're going to be saving 48 to repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, cap expenses, taxes are only going to be 75, insurance again is going to be cheap, 60, water sewer 75, lawn care, no need to worry about it, tenants will handle it, PM fees 97. So on average should run you 451 a month. That should be bringing home 524. And this is another one, man. I think we should just finance this right off the rip, right? We're getting a nice little old lady house, been on the market a while. You know, you take these C-class neighborhoods, there's only two people shopping in these neighborhoods, right? There's investors shopping, and this doesn't have a tenant in it, okay? There's no tenant already in there, so it's not super attractive to those folks. And then there's folks that want to live in the neighborhood themselves. So you take these people that want to live in the neighborhoods themselves, that's great, but in these C-class neighborhoods where we're starting to see just like a ton of investors and the low values, it, sometimes it's hard for these folks to get their loans approved. So a nice qualified investor buyer like yourself that is probably got a much, much higher net worth and much, much better credit profile, uh, it's very attractive to the sellers. You make for a very solid, uh, solid buyer. So because of that, that's why I think we're able to pick it up so cheaply. So you get yourself a mortgage, right? 
That NOI, 524 a month, you're going to have a small mortgage, 157 a month. So your net cash flow, even after your mortgage, should be 367. Now, the down payment on that mortgage is tiny, dude. It's only 11,000. And if you take your 11,000 plus, worst case scenario, 8,000 that we put into it, you're only going to have 19,000 into this deal. So that's in itself a 23% cash on cash return. All right, TJ, let me know if you're interested in making an offer on that property. And I got one more for you. And this one is actually in my favorite neighborhood in the Cleveland market. Of all the neighborhoods we have here in the Cleveland market, this is the neighborhood that we here at Holton Wise have the most uh, of our personal rental properties in this particular neighborhood. But what I've got to do real quick is go to a quick word from the sponsor of today's show. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. All right, TJ, now some new information on this property before I take you to the, the previous analysis that I did for another client. Again, similar situation, right? Deal fell apart. Uh, multiple offers, deal fell apart, right? All three of these are like literally the exact same situation, right? We put in our offers, we were outbid by other investors, listing agents, other investors have since backed out and they've come back to us, right? Three properties, identical situation, right? So here's where you could take advantage by being more aggressive than those other folks that are running scared right now. My target for my previous client who is, is you know, deciding to hold all of his cash liquid, my target, was for him to take this down at $65,000. Doing that, he'd only need to have $16,250 into the deal. Well, the listing agent has, has been after me over and over, still sending me email after email like, yo, you into this deal, yo, you into this deal. They've even sent me the inspection report from the previous uh, buyer who was under contract with this. So I have that available for you. Um, we'll be able to send that to you. When we send you this video, we're going to send the inspection report to you in a PDF. Trying to target this at 65K before then, but now the listing agent has kind of shown their hand a little bit. I think the seller is getting, you know, per, they're chopping at the bit here. So I was trying to knock this thing down for 65, but now I want to take advantage. This is where taking advantage uh, of being aggressive when other people are not um, can make you some money. So I think the new price, even though in the analysis I'm, I'm talking about 65, 65, 65, I think the new price here should be 60, but note that they're having some trouble dealing with the, the tenants in there. So that would probably be like, yo, we've reviewed the inspection report. We're willing to take this down at 60, no questions asked. Make it easy for them because they're just trying to get out. They're scared. and. That's how I think you'll make uh, some coin because I thought it was a great deal at 65, but dude, at 60, even better. So let's take a look at that footage. I got the second property pulled up for you. This one uh, just hit the market 10 days ago. 2915 Colburn Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Again, 10 days on the market, listed at 75,000. Let us see what the listing agent said. Fantastic two unit home in Old Brooklyn, looking for an investor or owner occupant to rent out while letting the other space pay the bills. 
larger ticket items completed include the roof, vinyl siding, and windows, which were replaced approximately 15 years ago. The furnace for the downstairs unit was replaced last year. Remember, that's $3,000 approximately, and it should last approximately 30 years. So that is big. Downstairs has access to the back deck and is freshly painted with today's trending colors and refreshed kitchen cabinets. There is a little butler pantry in the dining area, adding to the charm of this century home. Upstairs is freshly painted and still contains the old cast iron looking sink with refreshed cabinets. There is a huge basement that could be finished as well. I disagree. You do not want to finish the basement. Uh, we got a high water table. We're right on Lake Erie, and the, you know these are hundred-year-old duplexes, and they're built with porous materials. So there, there's always some uh, you know high levels of moisture down there. Not good for a living area. They are totally fine to be unfinished. No drywall. Place to store uh, the the mechanicals. Right, the furnaces, the hot water tanks, and also places for the tenants to do their laundry but should not be considered possible living space down the road not a good move again most agents there you know a lot of agents they don't really typically you don't typically see residential agents um specializing in in these types of assets or these types of properties that's that's where i come in you know this this is why you are paying me to do this for you this home is nicely maintained and a great find close to shopping downtown. The Cleveland Zoo and Metro Parks won't last long. And I don't even need to pull up the rental chart for you because we got it right there. Uh, unit one is a one-bed, one-bath, currently rented at 400 The other one is a two-bed, one-bath, currently rented at 435 Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, holy shit, those are some low rents. And they are. They are, brother. Those rents should not be that low should not be that low. That's why I think you and I can do our best to pick this particular property up for you for $65,000. I like this neighborhood. This is a, a C-class neighborhood, a pure C-class neighborhood. I do like this neighborhood a little bit better than 3640 West 46. I know this is your favorite neighborhood, but this right here, this is my favorite neighborhood. And I, I think the neighborhood's got a little more sta uh, stable tenant base and the rents are higher in this neighborhood. Now, I'm going to run the numbers for you real quick using the existing rents, but then I'm going to tell you what the rents could be. That's going to help us, though, because, you know, in this neighborhood, if I got a, you know, two bed, one bath, both units, you know, those can be selling for almost $100,000 right now. So we're trying to pick this up for a song, dude, $65,000, and we're going to use these really low rents uh, to help us. So with the current low rents, what does it look like? Do you actually make money with those rents being that low? Do you lose money? Well, let's find out, man. Eight thirty-five a month is what's supposed to come in. We're going to schedule 41 for repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment, and CapEx. Taxes, 116. Insurance, 60. Again, can't say it enough, guys. I own a farmer's business. If you're trying to make more money with your rentals, let's lower your insurance premium. Just click the link below. Reach out to us. We'll quote you, man. You don't have to give us any money. Uh, you don't have to commit to us. Just let us quote you. Let's see if we could save you some money. Water sewer, 150. Lawn care, 44. PM 83. So of that 835, I anticipate you're going to spend a lot of it, man. You're going to spend about 576. Cool thing, though, is when we get those rents where they should be, which I'll go over later, that 576 shouldn't really increase all that much. It's the same, you know, same property, right? You're just going to be bringing in more revenue, okay? So that's going to give you a NOI 258 for the month on average, or 3100 a year on average. Some years will be better, some will be worse. That is low. That is a 4.8 cap if you pick it up at 65,000. You finance it. You don't need a bunch of money though, right? You only need to put in 16,250 small mortgage payment 205 a month. So you do squeeze out a decent little estimated profit. Squeeze out 53 bucks a month or 640 a year, which would be a cash on cash return of 3.9%. Now obviously, right? Our property over here on West 46, we're looking at an average uh, cash on cash return of 20%. I'm not stupid. I know you're more interested in that. That makes more money. But I like this one. I think the property itself appears to be uh, in really good condition. If I had to guess, it's probably in better condition than the other property. And the rents could be a lot higher, right? These are obnoxiously low rents. We have to increase these. The tenant paying 400 living in the one-bedroom unit, that rent... 
600 bucks. That's what we should be getting for a one bedroom in this particular neighborhood. And the two bedroom unit, they're paying 435. That's almost criminal, dude. That's criminal to allow a tenant to pay 435 in this neighborhood. That should be 750 a month. So this property should really be bringing in 1350, which is an additional 515 a month. What is that for the year? That's going to be like 6,000 something, right? 515 times 12, an additional 6,000 one hundred eighty dollars a year if if you had to uh, see what your cash on cash return for that would be divide that by your down payment that'd be 38 percent but don't get too excited it's not really going to be 38 percent because i don't i mean it's possible but it's very unlikely i i see no scenario where we just tell those two tenants who are paying what they're paying right now hey these are your new rents because they're market and they're like okay no problem i would guess by the time we're getting both of those units up to market at least one of the tenants will have moved out and we will have had to spend a few grand turning over their unit but either way picking a property like this in this neighborhood up for a price as low as sixty-five thousand dollars would be a hell of a steal for you and i think we can do it uh this is listed by an exp real uh real estate agent so i'm anticipating that this particular agent just based upon all of the things they wrote in their description is not uber familiar with this type of asset class all right tj that's all the properties i've got for you right now so i just wanted to get these opportunities out to you because i know it was a, a little bit you know different from the initial plan you had laid out for me and that we did in your first video but you said you're very open uh, to some other things and you know all three of those uh, neighborhoods are very close to that path of progress right um, the last one I just did, the Colburn duplex, right? That is a little bit south um, of like being right in the heart of the Metro Health redevelopment. And then the other two, of course, were a little bit west. But all three of those properties are close enough where I think the economic impact um, should positively affect those neighborhoods. But I don't want to tell you I think it's going to be as noticeable as the two in our previous video. But I just wanted to, to bring these to your attention because I thought these are good deals and I think you're in a position to take advantage of these deals where others aren't. And it's kind of going to give you, uh, you know, maybe uh, a couple other ideas on how to look at things. Like, yes, we can continue on on the next video. I, I'm going to wait till I get your feedback on these before we make you another video. Let me know where we're at. But if, you know, from the first video, if we can't take down the Kenneth property, it gives you, you know, maybe a, a different plan. You possibly were not thinking about what to utilize, how to best utilize your funds. So maybe instead of doing two deals at once, you know, we could take down three or four deals at once. Because ultimately, you've got a goal of getting 10 units by the end of 2020 and 50 units by the end of 2023. And what we need to do is take down solid deals and we got to take down those deals in a way that allows you to preserve that capital. So like the duplex on Emory, that thing just being so damn cheap. I mean, dude, that's a no brainer for me. Under 10K, you still got 90K left and you're getting that cash flow. I mean, that, that one's a solid deal. And then the other two require a little bit more capital up front, but I think they're both uh, pretty solid properties. So let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know what you want to do if you want to make offers on any of these three properties. And then let us know what you want to do on the next video. If we're going to stick more to specifically Burr and Burr only, or if you want to kind of, you know, look at some other options like we've done here. Everybody else who's interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to holtonwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, and click the MLS search and analysis show. You'll get to work with me and my team one-on-one, -on -one, and we are able to take what you are doing. We're going to take your goals, take your budget, and we're able to develop some type of a plan working back and forth to help you invest in Cleveland real estate. And, you know, I cut it to you straight, guys. I give you the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, you know, transparency is my thing. That's what we do, right? We, we are as transparent as you could be. If you don't believe me that we are the most transparent folks out there on the internet, I urge you to check out the Tenants from Hell show. I guarantee you there isn't anybody else out there uh, with a show selling properties to people, showing and highlighting some of the worst case scenario type things you could deal with as real estate investors. But for us, that's, that's one of our most popular shows and uh, investors watch that and, and they really appreciate uh, 
uh, the transparency that we provide. So we actually get a ton of clients from that show just because we, we shoot you straight, man. Look, uh, it's real estate investing, guys. Like, I don't have to sell you on investing in real estate. To, they, they ain't making any more land. It makes sense. This is how you make money, right? This is this is a great way to make money. So I don't I don't got to fluff it and t tell you it's great. What I can do, what I should do is, is just tell you how it's going to be when you invest in our company, how it's going to be when you invest in this particular market. And you're either on board with that or you're not. And if you're not, hey, man, that's cool. Thank you for stopping by. And I'm glad we were able to educate you and uh, and teach you the risks associated with this. Because there's absolutely risk and every day ain't going to be a walk in the park, man. But overall, overall, you're going to be like my guy TJ having a portfolio of 50 units. If you've got a portfolio of 50 units, guys, yeah, there's going to be some bad stuff happening to some of those units pretty much all the time, right? But, you know, if you got 50 units and uh, 43 of them, are kicking off a ton of cash and then seven of them are, uh, you know, a mess right now, your, your, your positives are going to outweigh your negatives, man. That's, that's the game, right? You can't, you can't win with every deal every month, every time, but you know, you want your gains to outweigh your losses and overall it does. And, uh, you know, as long as you invest right, you know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, you know, that's all That's all we can do, right? Shoot you straight and ex explain everything to you. So, again, HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab. Click the MLS Search and Analysis show and pick any of those products so you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Several products available. Anybody else out there who is, uh, you know, interested in this market but you're not quite ready to get your own show, your personalized show, work with us one-on-one, -on -one. make sure you're subscribed to our mailing list. And we've got another show, the Investment Properties for Sale show, where we will email you properties with video tours every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is a great way for you to understand the market completely free of charge. And if you so choose and you don't need to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, but you see a deal you really, really like, you can go ahead and bid on that right there from the show, a couple clicks and boom, you're bidding on that property. And then our staff will be able to take over the management for you post-close. Check out our FAQ if you're curious to know our costs and our policies and, and how our property management and construction services work. That's all I've got for today's show. Stay safe out there, folks. As always, I'm James Weisel, Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders 
who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.